What's up, Fine Apple? So today's video is all about affordable makeup. And I will tell you right now, I need to put on one of the products that I have in front of me because yesterday I ended up laughing. I split my lip right here, so it's so dry. So we need some balm. Catrice, and I haven't tried any Catrice products lately, but they just sent me some new products at launch. I always love using lip masks even during the day because it just means it's heavy duty. So I have the Lip Lovin' Overnight Lip Mask. So let's give it a try. What's that smell? It's like fresh. I needed this hydration so bad because you know when your lips are super dry and your lip kind of splits and you're like, okay, you can't make any sudden movements. Ooh, now I can move. I will say this feels very pillowy. It, it's the pillow for me. <laughs> it's like when you feel very cushiony and plush. The Elf Putty Primer it has been my go-to. My eyebrows, I just use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist because you guys know that is my fave. Now that I got really into my lips, it's kind of having a perfume taste to it. Because remember when I said, oh, what does this smell like? I was like, it's fresh. I don't know about this one. Don't act like you don't do this. Let me just get it off my, it's the inside of my dress. Ain't nobody gonna see that. I know what the scent is. I haven't used this product in forever, but when you know a scent, you know. Pantene Pro-V shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> It's Pet Team Pro V. Went ahead and took that off. Didn't think that I was gonna use these products that quick, but they do have a lip jam, and these are actually scented in fruit flavors. I like you very much. We have a peach, we have a straw baby, and it was mint to be. And I'm gonna go into mint because I absolutely love mint balms. Let's see how minty this is. My favorite one, which I have not repurchased, and I honestly don't even know if they have it anymore, is from Bath and Body Works, and it's the menthol line. Let's see. Not very minty. Let's go into the strawberry. Oh, strawberry is much better. This mint has no flavor, and I would recommend the fruit ones, but so far for the lip mask, I mean, hey, if you wanna suck on Pantene Pro-V shampoo all night, be my guest. Be my guest, be my guest. I bought some sponges off of Amazon and this is from the brand Beakley. Now, I usually buy Paw Paw, which comes like in a bag and they're pink. I believe they have black ones as well, but this brand was highly, highly reviewed. Thousands of reviews. So it came like this. This is my Paw Paw sponge. So it's basically the same exact thing, except this one's pink. It feels like the Paw Paw's maybe a little bit softer, just naturally. I haven't bought a high-end sponge in forever. $20 for a sponge and if you think about it, you are using that thing nonstop. You gotta get rid of your your sponges, the, the horror movies I've seen of people opening them up and it's like, Rah! it's like straight mold. So a new palette came out from ColourPop. They always have a lot of drops, but this one looks really good and it's called Smoking Hot. I'm not the biggest fan of larger palettes, but I'll make an exception for ColourPop because they are my number one, hands down, favorite, favorite eyeshadow brand that's affordable. And I actually appreciate no mirror because I feel like the mirror just ends up cracking or getting super dirty. And I just like it like this. We all have our own mirrors. Some smokies, lots of beautiful shimmers. So let's get in with it. Paprika for our crease. So if you guys have ever, look at the pigment. If you guys have ever, and it doesn't have a lot of fallout either. If you guys have ever wondered which brand to really try or maybe gift someone, you can't go wrong with ColourPop. If I got rid of all my high-end palettes, I honestly would not care. Like the main ones I love are ColourPop. And I just recently did a palette declutter and if you see the video, it was really hard for me to part with any ColourPop palette. I do have my Battle of the Press Suns coming up. You guys have convinced me on, on Instagram, FYI, I just wanna put that out there to try Olive in June. You guys, these are press-ons. So, so far, after five days, one of them kind of already split, but it's because I was trying to open a tab and it kind of split it right here. But let me show you the good hand. And even the split is honestly so little. Look at that. And this is extra, extra small round. I have never known a brand to have extra, extra small round. And it comes like this and it's from Walmart. So since we're talking about affordable makeup, let's just talk about affordable nails. I'm really glad I'm trying out this brand because lots of people are like, you didn't try out Olive in June because I listed what I tried on Instagram. And I also did a community post and I will be posting more on there because a lot of you don't have Instagram. So I don't want to leave you guys out. Shimmery bronze. I haven't done a bronze eye in a minute. I don't want any fallout because usually these are a little bit more chunky. That's why I like doing my eyes first and then my face. I love colors like these because they're just so beautiful even when you just do one swipe. Swipe a smoky wing liner. Swipe some mascara. 
done. Let me know down below what's your favorite, favorite affordable eyeshadow brand. Is it ColourPop? Am I missing out on something? A brand just sent me some and they're called Alter Ego. Have you guys heard of them? Let me know. I'm definitely gonna feature them in the video because the palettes look like dupes of high-end palettes. Chocolatey, it's called Java, but it kind of has an undertone of a deep mauve, a shimmer. So I'm just gonna add that to smoke out the ends a little, just a little right there. And I love shimmers just because they blend so e easily. So if you're someone where blending is not your thing, just blend two shimmers together and look, very easy. This shimmer I feel like is calling my name. It's like a bright bronze shimmer. It looks like it has some really nice reflex in it. It's called Gold Dipper. Dab that right in the center just to give a little, ooh, a little reflect. I love that. Lots of pigment, beautiful shades. I'll link it down below. I haven't used a gel liner from ColourPop in quite a while and they sent over a waterproof 18 hour wear in a couple different brown shades. This one's called Brouhaha. I absolutely love brown liner. It is definitely my thing. It's just much softer than black. And I just like the way how it just complements looks. So this one's obviously a little bit on the darker end. They do have a range of other brown ones that you can search, but this glided on so easy. Look at that. So waterproof and 18 hour. So we're just going to take it at the edge and just do a little bit of a smoky eye and then just wing that out. This was one of the smoothest liners ever. It gets very tricky with eyeliners because usually when they're waterproof, you have to work so fast because then they just set. This one is definitely easy to work with. And I also like how you can really see your lashes more if you're not gonna use a lash band because then when you put on your mascara, and you have eyeliner, and if it's super bold, it's making your lashes disappear, right? Because obviously our lashes aren't that thick. So I just appreciate the softness, but still smokiness. Now I am taking a risk with this because the Sky High Mascara, I feel like I my eyes were allergic to it. They started getting kind of itchy. I don't know, maybe it was something else, but the only thing I could find in my routine was that the mascara was different. So we're just gonna try it again uh, because they sent over the tinted primer, which is soft black. So I haven't tried a mascara primer in forever. Usually primers are white just because they really help make the you know, mascara pop. It says our first tinted mascara primer for extreme length plus care. Okay, oh, it has B5, vitamin B5 in it. Serum infused base with ceramide and vitamin v B5. Lashes will feel soft with four weeks of daily use. So let's try it out. I've been using lash serum the last couple of weeks, but not like religiously. But I do feel like I have a little bit of a difference unless it's just like a placebo effect and I'm like, oh, I'm using a lash serum so they look better. But no, I do see a difference. So, so far this is separating nicely. I know Sky High was super, super popular and people were obsessed with it and it sold out. So now let's try this one. Let me know down below what's your favorite mascara. See if I see a difference or if it's gonna like add extensions or anything like that. I feel like the length looks pretty freaking good. I feel like I'm also enjoying it more this round and it could possibly be the primer because I wasn't that impressed with it alone. It made my eyelashes look like spikes. I will confirm I really like the primer. I'm actually pretty curious and I'm gonna try out this primer with my current favorite mascara, Double Trouble. So let's try out this sponge. My favorite drugstore has been uh, L'Oreal True Match. I am in the shade N5 and it is a really good match. I was looking at your comments and a lot of people, not a lot, but a couple of you did say, which stood out, that the formula is different and it doesn't uh, look as good as it used to. Something changed. And then you said, oh, it looked good on me, but, but that you could just tell the formula changed. I honestly, when I first had it, I remember it was like butter. And to me, what I remember and how it is now, nothing has changed. But again, it's been like quite a few years. So not sure if they did change it or not, but I like this one because it's so nice and lightweight. And there's so many different shades for so many people to choose from. You know what I also appreciate? That the bottle is on the smaller size and I it's one fluid ounce. And I will tell you, like this is what one fluid ounce looks like. Why do we have to have such huge freaking foundation bottles? Like, like take up half a drawer. Look how small, less is more. One ounce, let me give an example. One ounce, 
And there's, I'm sure I have a bottle that's bigger than the Kosas. Don't have a new concealer, but I'm just gonna blend this out with the sponge. I think I really like this one. This feels pretty similar to my Papa, but I will say the Papa is a little bit more on the soft side, bouncy side. But I usually don't like wetting my sponges. I just feel like it just picks up extra product. And no matter how much I wring it out, I feel like it just doesn't agree with my face. I don't know. I know some people just have to wet their sponges, but not me. To me, it just like disrupts the makeup. I think if you wet it, it probably is gonna feel really nice and bouncy. I actually might try that next time. Elf Cream Contour in Medium Tan. I already did a whole video on this. I'll link it down below. I like blending out my contours lately with a flat kabuki just to push it into the skin. I just feel like it really diffuses it a lot better than a sponge. I think I put too much underneath my chin. This one I just kind of go across the forehead and then I tap in. Catrice came out with a cheek flirt and this is a cheek balm or a cheek stick. And I absolutely love liquids, but this looks really nice and I love peach tones. Do a little swatch. Ooh, that looks really pretty. So let's try that. I will say it feels kind of on the sticky side, so I like that. I feel like it's gonna give maybe some good longevity. Say for instance, you wanna put a powder right on top. Since it is a little bit on the sticky side, it's just gonna hold on to that blush. And blush is usually the first thing to go, which is why I have always been an over blusher. I'm gonna try with this sponge right here, and then I'm gonna try it with a brush. But so far, this one's a winner. I'm gonna use the warmth of my finger now and kind of place it like that. Okay, I think I like that more because I feel like I took off some of my concealer from swiping. So it's better just to place with the warmth of your finger. Let's see if you can blend it with your finger. Yeah, you definitely can. I'm gonna try with my brush to see what it looks like. It looks more diffuse and natural. I think I like it more with a sponge and the finger. So we're gonna just add it. Well, no, actually I think I like this side. This didn't look as sloppy. <laughs> You know what, I like both sides. Went ahead and did a little soft curl. I absolutely love the way the primer and the mascara looks. I do have some ColourPop blushes and I do have a Catrice palette, but I do wanna set the cheeks. So I think I'm gonna save this for another video because there's also blushes in here and I'd rather just use an all-in-one palette because I think that'll just be more beneficial of a review. But let's go into some ColourPop shades. This one looks really pretty. It looks like it's gonna match perfectly. And this one's the shade Shortbread. Um, I usually only use the Super Shock cream blushes from ColourPop, which I'm sure you guys know. And that's just because they are that good. But let's go into this one to kind of set it, set the blush. Because it is a little tacky. This is definitely gonna hold on to any powder afterwards. So if you're not into a sticky blush and you want something to set, this stick is not for you, but I actually appreciate it. So cheek flirt. Or if you like something like with like a little stick, a little bit more glow, I feel like it's just gonna hold on to my blush all day. Set my under eyes. So if you see some diffusion underneath, that's what it is. I don't have a set that I really love or enjoy or one that I can completely say, this is my favorite one. Uh, but this is my favorite powder, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the color Sand right now. And I just think it gives like that extra little coverage. Not too matte, just matte enough. Since I usually don't use primer on my lower lashes, I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna need a lot. See if the primer's gonna do anything because I pretty much know. Ooh. Okay, I feel like my lashes are looking a little bit more full, giving length to my lashes even more than usual. I'm actually a fan, so I really hope that I'm not allergic to this, so we'll see. Now, I don't have a new lipstick, but I do have L'Oreal's Ferris Nude because I did declutter my lipsticks, which I'm so happy I did. But on top, I'm going to use the Lifter Gloss and Peach Ring, and I did a whole swatch video on this. This one's not crazy pigmented, but it'll add some color to that nude, see? All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. So far, I will tell you that I absolutely loved every single product. The palette was probably my favorite, along with this perfect shade of this cocoa brown for the liner. I'll link everything down below. 
As far as the blush, I think that this Catrice one is really good because it has that tackiness to it. So with that, it's literally gonna hold this blush for a very long time. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try out that Catrice palette in another video just because I think it will be more beneficial to see if we can use the entire palette. And then I'm trying to like find it right here. The ColourPop blush in Shortbread, definitely a winner. I think everything was great, but I will say the one that I will probably not recommend for sure is the Catrice Lip Loving Lip mask Pantene in a freaking bottle. These bombs are good. I mean, the strawberry I could definitely taste it. The mint, I couldn't taste it, but it's just like a regular little bomb. I feel like bombs are just regular bombs. You know, you can get this in any other brand, but it's not bad if you do want to try it. Here is the final look. What do you guys think? Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, Fine Apple. Mwah. Woo!